Welcome to another 240 repair video. For today, I've begun welding the rest of the seams that I can see, such as this whole line here I did today. This I'm gonna have to hit from the back, so I'm not worried about that right now. And I'm going to need to start filling in some of these. And for things like this, firewall to A pillar, these aren't even welded from the factory, so I think I'm gonna place at least a couple tack welds on that just to strengthen up the chassis a little bit. But next I wanna start working on this seam as well here. It may still be a long way for being able to be driven, but I think as soon as I get the jigs off, I'll be able to really finish all of the welding that needs to be done. So that's my goal. Try and finish up as much welding as I possibly can. And I'll start checking things off of my to-do list so I can stay on task. All right, that came out really nice. So with that being said, we can start working on this A-pillar. And yes, I already welded the reinforcement on the inside. There you go. Got a nice bead on that one. This is some nice metal to weld on. This is, <laughs> this metal is honestly the thickest metal on the car. Thicker than the frame rails, actually. So yeah, we need to clean this up. We might end up taking off this jig for now. We don't really need it. While I'm welding everything back together, I would like everything to be secured but I might have to just take this off temporarily. So we'll do that. Oh man, this is really ugly. Let's see how well we can patch this up. While I have the availability, I'm gonna spray some weld through primer in here just to make sure this doesn't rust away. This stuff comes out so thick. <laughs> It definitely looks better. But if we shave this down, it'll be really nice. While I'm working over here, I might as well start filling in some of these spot weld holes right here to the firewall to the A pillar. And also, like I mentioned before, get some tack welds in here for some structural rigidity. And this metal on the outside is really thin, so some of it is falling apart. So I'm gonna weld those shut as well. Alright, we got this whole outer section completed. Now I just remembered when I looked on the inside here. I still need to weld this whole inner seam right here, which is on the other side of that A-pillar that I just welded. So while we're over here, we're just gonna knock that out. Alright, it's looking pretty good. So I want to start putting this back in place, folding it up. And if you guys remember, I had to remove this little piece here so that I could fit the actual welder in here to weld this A-pillar together. So let's start putting that back together. So over here in the scrap bin, I think this one's it. I think it got warped in transport. It looks kind of bent. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> it's all bent. Well, we're gonna have to bend this back into shape and weld it back on.
I'm having a hard time seeing what I'm doing. <laughs> Much better. That's looking super good. Making some good progress. Now we can actually check that off the list of things to do. Oh, no I can't. Forgot this little spot in here. <laughs> All right, let's knock that out. Then we can officially check off something from the list. <laughs> Well, I think we can all agree that it'd probably be best to take off this door jig to get access here. So let's do that. Well, this is officially welded on there. I think a good idea is to start welding this side while I have the door jig off because if you guys remember in the previous videos, the jig was in the way for this spot here and all of this right here. I want to reinforce this A pillar down to the chassis and then also there's another cap that goes on right here and this inner seam right here. So let's get that done. But before I start on that side, I want to grind this stuff flush to the car because this is gonna be obviously exposed to the outside and it's not like, it's not so much like the floor where it'll probably be covered with carpet. So I want this to all be nice and smooth down, but being careful to not shave away too much metal from the actual car, just grinding the surface of the weld down. Well, I'd say that's good enough for now. I'm not trying to put too much detail in it at this point. I'm just trying to get the car fully welded. Then I can really focus on putting detail into the car after. Now that I'm thinking about it, we never did test fit the doors. So maybe I'll test fit a door right now just to see how it looks on the car. And we'll get a really good feel for it. Should I put this one back on? <laughs> Dang it, I would put the one I need all the way in the back. <laughs> Dang it, is this latch really broken? Come on. Oh no, it's just out of alignment. Well, that's all right, it was only my first try. So based on the body line, it looks like the rear of the door needs to be up. So we need to angle the whole door like this. We'll make a quick adjustment and try again. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> what? Dude. Look at that. We got a door on this thing. That's all it needed this whole time was just this door. Well, I guess since I was finally able to bolt a door to the car, I'm gonna call the entire build done. Dang, that looks so cool. I'm gonna put a fender on too. We just gotta, gotta let it set in. We just gotta get the whole vision complete, you know what I mean? Get the whole body on this side. Well, we'll have to worry about the quarter panel later, but <laughs> we'll get the rest. No way. Look at how good that lines up. 
There's not even any bolts down here. <laughs> it's not even tightened and it looks that good. Wow. Yeah, I mean, look. <laughs> if I really took the time to mount this thing correctly, I'm sure this gap would be perfect, but obviously it's just slapped on here just to get a visual. But I can tell just by looking at it, that this is gonna look so good when it's done. That's a nice motivation bump right there. That actually looks like a shell now. Can't forget to swing these out. Straight. Can't believe that. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh. I'm so hyped right now. Like what? Just, yep. What? Dude. That's unreal. Well, since we're making such great progress, let's continue progressing on this A-pillar. So right off the bat, I'm gonna finish filling in these spot welds here. Honestly, I need to figure out this little section here that's just open. Well, before I start welding, I just remembered since I put that door on, that means there's glass there. So I need to cover up that glass. If you don't cover up glass when you're welding or grinding, this could be what happens. Might not be able to see it too well, but there's little dots in the glass on this car because I did not take out the windows when I was welding. Yeah, you can't even, you can't even see it in the video, but you can feel it. That should be good enough. <laughs> All right, let's get to welding. Not too bad. So I need to make sure that this is ground down flush because there needs to be a seal that goes along the seam here. This stuff doesn't really matter too much as long as the door bolts up fine. But I'm gonna hammer these in and then weld these shut as well because that does not look good like that. This is just the outer shell that goes to the A pillar, but I might as well reinforce it while we're here. But this stuff is looking pretty good. Nice and smoothed out. Now I need to decide which of these plates I want to use. But here's the catch. They're both messed up. And this goes right here. You can kind of see how warped it is. But this one has a snap stud in it. And this stud is for the dash bar, which is kind of important. So but I think I've just decided I'm going to go with this one because this one is not snapped. It has a little surface rust, but we can clean that up. So we'll have to straighten this out and put this on here. But before I do that, I want to test fit this door because I have not been able to test fit this door since I put this roof on. And if you guys remember when I was first fitting this roof onto the car, I actually trimmed it down to here, which is where I just welded. And these bolts are actually connected to the A-pillar still. That's how far the A-pillar goes down. So now I'm hoping the door jig that I made really kept these in line <laughs> and that the door will actually fit on the car. So let's find out. Sick. Well, at this point, we might as well put the other fender on and really get a good feel for how the car will look. Hey, hey. that is crazy. A full car, minus a hood and a trunk and half a quarter panel. <laughs> but, damn, that's super exciting. Check this out. Open, close. That is so satisfying. Honestly, I was really stressing how the doors were gonna fit on this thing because obviously there's been a lot of pieces moved around and I didn't know if the fitment was gonna be so good and look at that, perfect. Unreal. <laughs> oh, 
No! More ants? Oh, hell no. <laughs> no. Are the ants coming back? Or were they here all along? Just hiding, waiting to come out. Oh my gosh. Looks like they're throwing stuff overboard. I really hope there's not ants in here. It's not fun. Well, since all this lines up really nicely, I guess I might as well put this plate back on here. Use the straighter one. Just weld that on there real quick. But you can't weld on paint, so we're gonna have to grind all this paint off of here. Ah, ah, ah. Spray well through primer on the back side. I did already coat everything in here though. Man, this stuff sprays out so thick. I'm just not used to it. <laughs> a little bit goes a long way. Well, that's cool. There's one more piece to be done with. Although I do need to grind down some of these welds here just because that seal that goes on this piece right here, I want to be able to fit on there nicely. So just smooth out some of these. Nice. While I'm working over here, I also noticed that there's a piece of the trans tunnel I still need to weld right here. And then a piece of the floorboard from the frame rail section to the rocker panel. So I need to hit this side from the bottom and probably hit this side from the top. Perfect. Looks like we got a lot done today. It's really cool that these doors are on here. It actually feels like somewhat of a car now. So let's see what we can check off of our list. So under our welding section, we'll finish the trans tunnel on top. Trans tunnel bottom, we'll have to wait until the jig is off to do that one. Firewall to A-pillar, check. Lower and outer firewall, check. Noob, 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 noob. Reinforce A-pillar, yes. Reinforce left B-pillar, no. Trans tunnel mount, yes. Left quarter panel. Man, this I'm really hesitant to do. Obviously, it's needed very badly, this whole section right here. But I really don't want to use this quarter panel that I have. It's a new OEM quarter panel, even has a part number on it still. But there aren't many left in existence. So if I can find someone that can remake that quarter panel, that could save a lot of S chassis, you know what I mean? So I would hate to just use it right now, and then that's it, you know? But if I can take this quarter panel to someone and they can remake it, that would be amazing because then less cars would have cut quarters. <laughs> so if you guys know of anyone that makes quarter panels or fenders or something or some type of company that I can go to to get that quarter panel reverse engineered, I guess, to make more, let me know because I would definitely try to make more of those. Oh, and while we're talking about quarter panel sections, I wanted to mention, yes, that this doesn't line up. A lot of people were like, oh, you messed up the bottom alignment because that doesn't line up. I'm like, dude, you have to align it to the, the pillars. Like, this car was cut for overs. Look at this. So this is where it's supposed to be, and this is how high up it was cut. Like, that's above the body line. So that's why it's like that. I didn't miss my alignment <laughs> by this much. <laughs> Yeah, we got doors. What are you doing? <laughs> you causing trouble, Jerry? Huh?